In this video, I would like to return to our MIPS assembly language overview. The last slide we looked at was number 32, reading some words from memory, and quite similarly, storing bytes and half words is very similar to loading them from memory. And of course, we need to remember to respect the word boundaries for word size data. Their addresses have to be divisible by four. And for half words or 16 bit size data, they have to be divisible by two. System calls provide operating system support for our Mars uh, simulator and they include services to print various data types, print strings, terminate the program, open and close files, printing values in hexadecimal format, generating random numbers, and graphical user interface message box dialogues. You can get more information about system calls on this website. Once you have seen arithmetic operations, Bitwise logic operations look very similar. They include bitwise AND, OR, and exclusive OR, and of course have the corresponding immediate instruction formats. These are examples of inputs and outputs of bitwise operations. And the idea of bitwise operators is that they apply to individual bits independently. So every bit position is processed independently, and the outcome is generated accordingly to the truth table for the corresponding bitwise logical operator such as AND, OR, and exclusive OR. There is a macro instruction for bitwise NOT, and you can find it in the help for extended pseudo instructions. And if you scroll down, this is all in alphabetical order. Here it is. This is bitwise NOT also known as bit inversion. For the logical note, we can use this exclusive OR immediate operand format workaround to invert the value in register T2 so it becomes 0 or 1, corresponding to false and true in the logical world. Logical expressions correspond to the arithmetic IF operator in C and C++. So we have all these prepackaged versions of logical operators. And the corresponding commands are set if equal, set if not equal, greater equal, greater than, and so forth. So if the condition is true, then the result is set to 1. Otherwise, it's a 0. The immediate version of these commands allows immediate operands which of course allows us to specify literal constants as one of the input operands in our expressions. Of course, having these logical expressions available helps to make logical decisions in our code and use it to control the program flow. This is an example of a C programming language logical expression where we want to decide whether A is less than B or a combination of a plus b equals 10, right? So it's this or this part. So we begin here by adding a plus b and storing the result in the register t3, then loading t4 with value 10, checking the equality between t3 and t4. And if t0 and t1, which are mapped to variables a and b, satisfy this condition less than, we set t2 to 1. As a result, t3, which is the outcome of this, and it can only be 0 or 1, and t2, which is the outcome of this, which also can be only 0 or 1, are processed by the OR instruction, which finalizes the job of this logical OR operation. One cautionary note here is that a C compiler most likely would attempt to short-circuit evaluation of this expression. Therefore, it's likely to generate the code for A less than B comparison. And if the outcome of this is true, then the rest of this logical expression is never evaluated because the condition is already met for the OR check between the two sides. 
So this would be different from what I'm trying to show you over here, because the idea is to simply show the smallest fragment of MIPS assembly code that corresponds to the logic of this expression. Another logical expression in our handout is very similar, but this time we're using the AND operator and also trying to demonstrate the work of modulo or remainder operator, which is implemented here by this division command for integer operands, and then taking the remainder and loading into the register T3. The rest of this demonstration is very similar to the previous slide.